And hello, sports fans. Welcome to the OU Football Preview Show. I'm Rick Heath. With me, Al Eschbach, and we are at Turk's Tavern next to the old German restaurant in Choctaw. One of our favorite places, Al. Oh, I love it. I mean, great German beer, great German food. Doesn't it's big any, time. Yeah, doesn't get any better than that. And a beautiful Turk's Tavern. It's like an alpine uh, hideaway. I mean, it's beautiful wood wood interior. It's a great place to come. Watch all the, the football games coming up on the NFL Network. And don't forget this weekend. October, October Fest, Fest starting beginning. On, on August 30th. Friday. Friday, August 30th through Saturday, September 7th. 40 different German beers, lots of great German food, lots of all kinds of food. Um, papa bands. That's right. And uh, you can go to oldgermany.com to find out more about it. And they also need volunteers. So if anybody wants to come out and volunteer for Oktoberfest, it's at Choctaw Park here in Choctaw. Find out at oldgermany.com how you can help. But be sure and come out, take care, and take a, uh, in part of the German beers, German food, all the atmosphere, Oktoberfest. Friday, October, excuse me, Friday, August 30th through Saturday, September 7th. Great place to come, Alan. Oh, it's big time. I've been out there before. It is big time. Well, event. just for the beer alone, it's worth absolutely. it. You know? And the food. And, and have somebody up. drive you home. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Partake in all the great beers and have somebody drive you home. Doesn't get any better It's a than festive that. occasion. So, hey, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming football this weekend. Um, your thoughts on Johnny Manziel, I mean uh, Trevor Knight. Well, no surprise. I mean, I said before, you I mean. Yeah, I owe you a pizza, by the way. Uh, yeah. I owe uh, you a pizza. It, it, and I told people it was an easy decision. He was, if it was close, Bell was going to be the starter. If it was not close, uh, Knight, the better passer, the better uh, runner. Now, they're really high that he's going to be a star, but they also caution it. Well, we got to see what he does in the game because in mean, practice, he's been sensational. You know, and the one thing about it is, Corey Nelson put him on the spot by comparing him to Johnny Manziel at the at media day, so that's a lot of pressure on the young man. Yeah, there's a, yeah, you know that you can't uh, say that, and uh, it, it's uh, it's not good. You know, it's, but that's okay. I mean, you know, that's one of the things that, that, uh, that Bob Stoops said. Hey, guys, come to Oklahoma. If they're afraid of pressure, they don't come to Oklahoma. That's right. So uh, you know, they have a chance to to really make a difference in this first. This first game. Hey, we're at Turk's Tavern in Choctaw next to Old German Restaurant. We'll be back with more on the OU Football Preview Show after this. And welcome back to the OU Football Preview Show. Rick Heath, Al Esbeck with you from Turk's Tavern here in Choctaw next to Old German Restaurant. We're here talking about Oktoberfest, which starts Friday, August 30th through Saturday, September 7th. Over 40 different kinds of German beers, great food, great atmosphere. It's in Choctaw Park here in Choctaw. So be sure to come out and be a part of Oktoberfest. It's a one of a once a year Oktoberfest. Once a year happening, it's a lot of fun to be out here. And uh, Al, let's talk a little bit about the Warhawks of the University of Lu uh, Louisiana Monroe. And the Warhawks are experienced in going on the road for the first game. Yeah, they went to Arkansas last year and won. Well, they've oh. done five, I mean, six yeah. years in a row they've gone on the road against big-time programs. Yeah, they, so and they got, a, they got a, a really good quarterback. Their defense is horrific. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a good game for the defense and a good game for Trevor Nyan actually to break in against a, a defense that ain't any good. Well, let's talk a little bit about the Warhawks. I mean, Colton Browning is their quarterback. He threw for almost 380 yards a game last year. He had 29 touchdowns. This guy threw against some good defenses and did a good job. He is a quality quarterback. Oh, you know, one of the OU coaches said he's one of the better quarterbacks he'll face all year long. You know, and so that's going to test a secondary that's young and inexperienced for the most part for OU. Well, yeah, I don't think the secondary's going to be a problem this year, though. I think it's a defensive line is a major major problem but, but here's why it's I, a good test for the secondary though i agree for a couple of new plays that are, are breaking yes, in they need to break you know they need to get those done but here's the thing if that defensive line that we've talked about being a problem doesn't get pressure on colton browning he's going to have time to throw it and no no amount of good skill in the secondary can hold a receiver forever I, I, I totally agree you know if they get five and six seconds in time to pick secondary and third th receivers out I mean, Colton Brown is going to have a good game, and that's going to be tough. Yeah. But you know what? They've also got beat by some bad teams last year. They did. Everybody they talks did. about the games against 
or Arkansas, Auburn, and Baylor. They got to be against some bad teams. Well, you know, but they get up. I mean, like anybody yeah, else. You but get up for they're, real. They're bowl game. They were embarrassed yeah. by Ohio. An Ohio team that wasn't very good. Yeah, but Ohio, we got, we got some guys from Oklahoma yeah. playing Ohio. And, and so Norman, we got yeah. a little something. But it's, 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 a, it's, a good, it's a good opening game test for the defense. They get West Virginia the next game. So, uh, but it, it, you're going to have a guy, Quincy Russell, been on campus in like a week. And he's stark. I yeah, mean, and, 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 and they got no depth in the defensive tackle. Let's just talk about it. It's going to be hot. Yeah. It's going to be really hot. Yes. And they they average about 90 plays. The Warhawks do. Average about 90 plays a game. That means they're going to be running people in and out. It's going to be tough on that defensive line because they're missing a couple of players. In the Dole, not, uh, yeah. the Dole not playing. And uh, and then secondary Cortez Johnson. and. They don't, they don't, they had to move a freshman defensive end to tackle. He's on second team, the yeah, kid. I mean, that's how, come, that's how thin they are. Yeah, that's how thin so they are. So it's going to be a test for the Louisiana, uh, uh, um, the Warhawks, okay, on OU's defense. Now, on the other side of the ball, we'll talk about that a little bit later. It won't be as much of a, a situation. But, you know, they've got a good offense, and it's going to be a really good test for the OU's defense. Yeah, I, I think it is. I, I really believe it's a, it's a nice test. And, but Oklahoma is a 23-point favorite. Okay, but let's look at it this way. It's a good test. Who comes in next week? West Virginia. Right. See, and they're going to be throwing the ball. The Warhawks are going to be I throwing agree. the ball. I agree. So this is going to yeah, we're nice gonna find test. out yes. a little bit more about OU's defense, probably a lot faster than Mike Stoops would like. Yeah, yeah, and that's one thing that this is a rebuilding year for Oklahoma. And that's why this schedule is not – Real easy. Some people say it's the toughest schedule in the country. So, I go in the season. Me trying to be realistic. Nine and three is a good season. I, I think so too. Ten and two would be even would be, it would be really good. You but, know, anything better than that. But would next be year you got a chance. You should be win. Maybe 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 win the Big Twelve next year. You got the schedule. You got Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Baylor uh, at home next yeah, year. All, all in Norman. All that in makes, Norman. You know, and this year, you know, and they, Tennessee. And so yeah. this year you got. It's going to be tough. This year's going to be tough. But you know what? This is going to be a good test for them. Opening game. Opening yeah. Game, you know, uh, OU has not been known to be really sharp opening games. No, I mean, at the so, I mean, University of Texas El Paso, they were not good at no, all last year. No, they were not. And that's with Landry Jones. Yeah. Much less a freshman, redshirt freshman. It, it was a road game, though. Yeah, it is. And it's different. In home games, it's very tough for them to come by, you know, and, and win a lot, you know. But right now, 23-point favorites, about where it should stand. Probably, yeah. That's about where but, it should stand. Hey, my lock of the week, the over and under is 59 and a half. I'm going over. Over. You're going to be wearing over. diamonds, right? You're going to be wearing diamonds. Yeah, absolutely. Over. <laughs> golden diamonds. Hey, speaking of golden diamonds, if you're looking for tickets to Notre Dame, Tickets Unlimited in Norman is the place to go. Give them a call, 364-7500 to go to OklahomaTickets.com. You can find tickets. they got a great package to go to Notre Dame, spend the night in Chicago, all of that available. Tickets unlimited, 364-7500. Also, Man Escape, home with a haircut and a free beer. That's right, guys. Get your haircut, drink a free beer, have hand restoration, face restoration, foot restoration, all that available at Man Escape, the body shop for men on Broadway next to Home Creations and more. We'll be right back with more from Turk's Tavern right after this. And welcome back to OU Football Preview Show. Rick Heath Alless back from Turk's Tavern in Choctaw, next door to Old Germany Restaurant. Everybody's heard about Old Germany and how great their food is. The German food is fantastic, Al. Great German beers with Turk's Tavern is the sports tavern right next to Old Germany's restaurant. Great alpine atmosphere, all the big screens where you can watch soccer if you so desire, the real football or you can watch all the NFL and college games you'd like here at Turek's Tavern next to Old Germany Restaurant. Also, let me talk to you about Green Acres. You can have your lawn or acreage the envy of the neighborhood by having Green Acres take care of your maintenance, mowing, edging, landscaping, flower beds, all of that are taken care of by Green Acres. Give them a call, they have commercial and residential service. They'll make your yard look beautiful like a golf course. That's Green Acres. Give them a call and they will take care of your yard or business and make it look beautiful. Also, Glenn's Paint Company. Make your home look the best it can be. Call Glenn at 921-7946. He and his crew can paint or texture the inside or outside, stain, paint the outside of your house, all that and more. 
make it look beautiful and the best it can be, give Glenn a call at 921-7946. That's Glenn's Painting Company. Al, let's talk about what might happen on offense for OU. Trevor Knight, redshirt freshman quarterback, he's, you know he's going to be nervous. He, let's, let's put this in perspective. He is going to be really nervous his first game. I no mean, doubt. Sam Bradford was. You know, Sam Bradford lit it up. Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. Now, we don't know what Trevor, Trevor's going to do, Trevor Knight. You know, how do you think Josh Heupel and Jay Norvell are going to scheme this for him? Oh, well, they might let him maybe have him run the ball a couple of times first, and then they'll get into the game plan and, 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 and go do it. You know uh, what I'd like to see him do? I'd like to see him just load it up and try to blow that defense off the line. Give the ball to Damian Williams. But you got to get the offense. They play West Virginia next year, the week. I know, but I mean, I'm just talking about the start. Okay. I'm just talking about yeah. the start. No, I agree, yeah. Just, yeah, just, yeah. Get, just yeah. go power no. football or, or and I go, no, I, I'd have him run it. I'd let him loosen. Well, okay, and that may Do be some, too. Uh, get him on the reach. edge. Get him yeah. on the get edge. Get the zone read. Get him out there. Get him, you know, get him Remember, hit. Manziel averaged about 15 uh, carries a game last year. Yeah, you know, and get him, get him hit. You yeah, know, get him where he settles down. And then run down. the ball. I agree. Yeah, but I like. I would love to see some power football that first series. Well, and let me tell you something. And someone told me this great point. What you don't want to happen is they get ahead in the game. They, they go right down the field and score the defense. Where well, this kid got to be playing from behind all yeah. game. Yeah, you don't want that. No, you don't want that at all. And now, especially the opening game. Yeah, you, know, you don't want that. No, it may happen to Notre Dame. It may happen against West Virginia. But you don't want it to happen no. against a, the a walks guy playing his of, first, first you know, Louisiana snap in a, in a, in a, yeah. in a major game. behind. Game. Yeah. So, or, so that goes back to toss. Do you take the ball? Oh, without a doubt, you're going to take the ball. Well, that's what I would do. I would do it. I would take well, the ball. Yeah, I would. With, I knowing would take, the defense, yes, yeah, I would take I would the ball. I would take the ball. I would take the ball. Go power football, yeah. knock them off, yeah. just have some good power line. We've got, you know, and I say we, I generally don't do that, but OU's got a great offensive yeah. line. They should be able to yeah. overpower But they guys. got to throw the ball too well, down the will. first drive. They will. I mean, I, well, they will, but I mean, I'd like to just see the first one. Just let them blow them out a little bit. Yeah. I mean, knock them off the ball. Let that big offensive line. I out. think what he'll do, he'll have him run, he'll throw some short passes. and Saunders, uh, Saunders short underneath. Yeah, absolutely. Let him make something yeah, happen. Yeah. Sterling Shepard underneath. Get him underneath. comfortable throwing some yeah. short stuff. You know, stuff maybe a yeah. couple of flare passes yeah. out in the, you know, the bubble, the, the bubble screen, yeah. things like that, just to get him out there. Yeah. You know, they would love to be able they, to. They, they say like Manziel, when I compare them, we're saying the style is, he throws the ball on the run really well. Cross, you know, sidearm and stuff, he throws it what moving, just like. Manziel does. Now, so we'll okay, see. now here's the other question I got for you. Do they hold plays back? No. Uh, you know, Tram said he, Barry Tram will say they, they might. I don't know. You know, he, Tram said, well, you don't, don't, don't run any zone reads. They have no damn. When Notre Dame gets ready to play OU, they know they OU is going to run zone read <laughs> with this kid. So it's not it, like they don't know stupid. that. Yeah, even if OU doesn't run, they know OU is going to be running zone read. You know, I'd love to see power football just to start him to get, you know, get him comfortable handing the ball off, get a little rhythm, well, get him I, out I don't want edge. him to hit. I want him, yeah, I want him to run the ball and get hit. That's what I mean. Yeah. I want him to get Absolutely. on the edge and get yeah. hit. Yeah. And then, then work in the, you know, the short passes yes. along with the power running yes. game and just move it yep. on down. Yep. Mix it up, but, you know, not just depend on him to carry it. No. You know, or to, to lead the offense. Spread it out. They got I, I, great I, backs. I, what is going to be interesting, are they going to go in the hurry up on the first row like they did every Series with, with every, I mean, every opening series with Landry Jones. You know, that's the one thing I didn't ask Bob Soups this week. I wanted to. Is the how, tempo. The tempo. How, how, what's the tempo going to be on? He said 80 plays. 80 plays is what he talked about. I think that's a little slower than they've been doing. I'd like to see what they averaged last year. That would be a good stat. Yeah, I'd like to find that out, too. Hey, let me talk to you about Tickets Unlimited. That's right. If you're wanting tickets to the OU Notre Dame game or all the home games for OU, Tickets Unlimited is where you go. 364 7500 or go to their website, Tickets Unlimited or OklahomaTickets.com. Either one, Tickets Unlimited, 364-7500, or go to OklahomaTickets.com. Also, I want to talk about Man Escape. Man Escape, the home of a haircut and a free beer. Hand restoration, feet restoration, waxing jobs, all the things. It's a body shop for men on Broadway next to Home Creations in Moore. Man Escape, go get your haircut, watch sports, have a free beer or two at Manscaped. Rick Keith, Al back with you from Turk's Tavern. We'll be right back after this. Back to final segment of the OU Football Preview Show. Rick Keith, Al back with you from Turk's Tavern here next to Old Germany in Choctaw, where Oktoberfest starts 
Friday, August 30th through Saturday, September 7th. Great place to try all the favorite German beers or even new German beers. Now they're gonna have some beers at the Oktoberfest that have not been here before. And the only time you can get them is at Oktoberfest. They're straight from Germany, great cold beers, wonderful food. You got all kinds of bands and they also need volunteers. To get more information, go to oldgermany.com. That's Oktoberfest. Also the Trails Golf Club in Norman. It's a great place to play golf. And it's a beautiful, beautiful atmosphere and facility at the Trails Golf Club. They got a great restaurant. All of that and more at the Trails Golf Club. Find out more information about membership specials. Give Kathy Hess a call at 364-3790. Also, Green Acres Landscaping and Mowing Company, whether it's your house or business, either one, they can make your yard or business look beautiful at Green Acres Mowing and Landscaping. Whether it's flower beds, edging, mowing, landscaping, they can do it all at Green Acres. Give them a call and they'll take care of your yard and make it look like a golf course like the Trails. Also, Rain Guard, three metro locations. Whether you need gutters or the Rain Guard gutter helmet over your present gutters, give them a call. Rain Guard will take care of you. They got over 30 years' experience in the metro area, three locations all around, so they can take care of you in a quick, fine fashion. That is Rain Guard for your gutter needs. And also, Manuscape, home of a haircut and a free beer, plus all the ladies will take care of you. They'll cut your hair, hand restoration, feet restoration waxing all of that available at Manuscape. Now let's take a look at around the Big 12 opening games. OU opens at home. OSU goes to Houston to play Mississippi State. Interesting matchup there. Yeah, Oklahoma State's like a 12-point favorite. It's a good, I think a good test we talk about Oklahoma defense. Mississippi State's pretty good offensively. Got a good quarterback, a good offensive line, so it, it'll be a test. Of, okay, is Oklahoma State's defense that is it better or is it the same old same what we've seen the last few well, years? Well, I mean, here we're talking about the top rated Big 12 team against a mid pack right. Southeastern Conference right. team yep. at a neutral site. It's almost like a bowl game, you know, a preseason bowl game. So we'll find out a lot more about how the Big 12 leader looks with being OSU, how their offense, whether they're going to run one quarterback, two quarterbacks, nobody knows yet. They're going to run one. They, they'll, they'll, they'll do the, war, the, the, the Walsh stuff like they did last year, the package for him. But Chelf will start. But Shell's going to play most of the game. They'll put, yeah. I don't think Walsh is going to play anymore than he did a year ago. We'll see. So he'll just come in on situational play. Uh, like he did a year ago. Like and I like package. that. Yeah, I like I mean, that. that. I mean, that's... I think that's what's going to happen with OU. I think, I think Blake Bell will come in on situational play. On some Bell goes to play. Yeah. 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 You know, so. Uh, but Mississippi State, mid-level mid SEC team, ought to be interested. Yeah, it, it should be. Again, Oklahoma State's a 12-point favorite. Going to have a lot of Oklahoma State fans there. Big, Houston's a big Oklahoma State uh Alumni town. Well, they pull a lot of athletes out of Houston. Absolutely. You know, and this, yeah. this helps them a bunch. I bet Mike Gundy was doing handsprings when he heard they were going to play in, in Reliance State. He doesn't want to play the game. He's already said he just, <laughs> he, did, he came out this week in paper and said, why are we playing this game? Well, I know, but if they're going to play it, at least they get something out of it having the Houston well, players. Well, you, you better win the game. Yeah, because if you don't win it. Because it's a, and, and next year they play Florida State opening game. Uh, and he's not real happy about that <laughs> in Dallas. Who's scheduling these things, he says. <laughs> yeah, who's scheduling these things? He knows who's scheduling That's them. That's why he almost walked last yeah, year. Yeah, you're he wanted, right. He wanted better input on scheduling. That's exactly they right. They want to open up in Florida State. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Especially next year, they got to play at Oklahoma, at TCU, at Kansas State, at Baylor. Plus that game. Yeah. Are you kidding that, me? Yeah, that's a pretty murderous type schedule. Uh, also, um, TCU plays LSU. Boy, that point spread has come down, 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 down to four points now. All the money's being bet on TCU. Well, TCU's got Pahal, uh, the returning. And, and, no, and LSU lost a bunch of players to the NFL. Yeah. And, and plus, they got a new offense coordinator, but their offense was terrible last year. Absolutely well, horrible. Um, it's been, we know it's been bad the last two or three years. Yeah, well, Les Miles, just can't, he, he's a defensive coach. You know what I mean? Well, he, he's hired a new lineman. coordinator. He's, he's hired a new coordinator. Yeah, but it, it, doesn't, it hasn't uh, helped. If him. I was him, I try to, would have got to try to get Todd Monk and Brooklyn Stadium yeah. and spread it out. Do something. You, hey, been, you think these LSU fans, when you, when the Big 12 fans, Boy, I, you know, I wish we ran offense like the SEC. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> LSU fans, are tr get, get rid of it. TCU is my dark horse in the Big 12. It's a, it's a good pick. I mean, it, it's a, it's they're it's my a, dark horse. They got the number one returning quarterback. You know, and, and uh, that is if you don't take David Ash of Texas as the number one returning quarterback. And let's talk about Texas and uh, New Mexico. That's my State. pick for the Big 12. I mean, 
They, they finished 19th in the country, won nine games, they got 19 stars back. And I don't like Texas. Why? They won the, why? Why? I just don't like them. Well, they I won. lived in Austin for 12 years, but I still don't uh, like Texas. Well, you know, Imagine like that. But I, I, I think that, well, we'll see. If Ash, the, the whole thing is consistent, is Ash, if he's consistent, he led the league in, uh, uh, in passing percentage last year. Well, you know, and they've, they've got all the ingredients. The re there's no reason Great why Texas backs. is not better. Yeah, you're the right. The only reason and, is they and, just don't have They good won coaching. nine games a year ago, and 19 yeah. started back. So you'd think that would parlay into 10 or 11 wins. And it, we'll all, it all depends on how David Ash does. That's okay, right. Okay, your, 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 uh, uh, what's your prediction on the OU Louisiana Monroe game? Wow, I'm going to go over. I'm going to go Oklahoma 49 to 31. I got 45-21. We are there, and we'll be back next time on OU Preview Show next week. Now, See you. can Landry Jones make something of it? How about that? Jalen Saunders. Touchdown Sooners. And an outstanding throw by Landry Jones. Why? Great protection. He has the time step and throw and Saunders does exactly what he's supposed to do look at his throw small window tight coverage coverage wasn't bad but Saunders beat Carter they got pushed all the way back to the 24 yard line